So hello guys, let's see what do we have today to unbox some heavy box, really. It's not small, it's not light. And let's open it. We have something today to open and unbox and see what do we have here. It, this is unboxing and first impression. Wow. Can you guess guys what's this? Yeah, no? Here some strobe lights in it. Okay, two bags of strobe lights. Interesting. We have some velcro. Yeah, it's velcro for you see. That's interesting. One velcro. Two box with lights. And what can be inside? Oh, it's some food plates. Some beautiful color. Let's put them here. And I think you already know what's in. But let's wait what, to see what's inside the box also. Oh, we got some sweeties. Nice. I love when I hear something sweet to eat. Thank you guys. Put it here. To see it's well Illinois stickers. Another Illinois sticker. And two kinetic power pad stickers. Great. So some paperwork and we don't need this box anymore. So let's open this to see what do we have here today so you know guy that make nail and os you know guy that make kinetic pads same guy but this is the something new from him i never tried them i never try in the long term kinetic pads i have their foot plates but I never had my personal kinetic power pads and this is the 2.0 version so I try version 1 but only for a short time I never have them for a longer time so I cannot show you the difference between the power pads that we have here to unbox do the short impression and then to review it but I'll try to add some pictures to see the differences so, what's here? Velcro, we have it in almost every food place that we have. Some sweets, some stickers, and two box with lights. Should we start with the power pads? Okay, we have left and right. This is, as we see, the right one. Whoa. Guys. This really looks nice. I got them if you see, it's CUC Serbia here. And this is Serbia flag. So you can mix and match colors for everything, but I got the Serbia flag mixed. Whoa, it's really nice combination. And this is the first looks unboxing and first impression. Connection side is different from the last time, as I see. They have a metal insert here. I tried to open it later to show you the insert, but they are really. Oh, you see her? Something squishy inside. So they are not that soft as I think that they be. They'll be not that soft but not that hard it's interesting it's 3d printed 
power pad. But really, really good applied Velcro on them. Connections are really good, different from the last time. The last time in version one, they were easy disconnected and losing some part of the power pads. And this is, as I see, more secure connection. They are moving, you see. He has a lot of movement. I'll try to open it, show you. Well, okay, this is the front part. And this is the Excel part. If you don't need the Excel one, I think you only got for the smaller or the medium one, you got upper part and the down part. I think if even that if you got Excel one, I think you can remove this middle part and connect only these two parts and make it smaller for a smaller wheel and then insert this part for bigger wheel. Uh, bigger wheel. I'm not sure, I must try it, but as I see it by connectors and everything else, it looks like that. Okay, so this is the back part. Really big and big, big one. Really big, I'm impressed. They are not small. And you may see they have already Velcro on it and they have inserts i must see if i can open it let's try this one Hop. try to open it this is really good insert okay we got it out almost uh -huh. okay this is really good insert and they are connected you won't lose them so they won't stay on the wheel really really good connected and you cannot open them totally but this is if you want to change this light part but you don't need to open this have it also down there because the connection for the charger is up here as you may see and it's USB-C connection for charging so all you need to connect this and to charge them is by opening this hatch and charge them then connect them secure securely this is on the wheel you don't need to move them from the wheel and charge them Okay, we will try later to turn them on. Oh, I already got them on. Let's. Even you hold this for a few seconds, they got on. But they have, I think, inside you got some remote that you can use. But we'll take it later just to open them to see how they look. And they will see the rest of it. Sorry for the bags but we still have here another back plate sorry another back foot plate and another one for our left side maybe i mixed this no yes i mixed this one so back part upper part oh guys they're really big i didn't get idea from the videos and from the pictures that they are that big. They surely can mount on my big wheel, but really great to connect it. You see you have charger here and charger here from the front from the for the down part and for the up part. Sorry for the up part and for the down part. Also USB C connection. So you can charge them really quick without removing the removing them from the wheel. Let's see what's also in the box. Then we switch to the power pads to do initial impression. This is the box. I think it's the same box for the two of lights. So lights are already pre-installed here. You saw it. This is the USB USB C USB A to USB C charger and some i think velcro 
if you want to stick it again somehow but they are already insert, inserted and this is the hmm, interesting some remote to connect with them and to pair them to blink yes this is the same part same USB-C to USB-A charge cable and another remote so we have two remotes I'm interesting if everything is blinking as, as it should be so that's the part with lights so I got the full pack uh, with lights XL customizable colors everything can be changed you can change what color will be the upper part part of the pads the middle part and the down part what kind of color will be this kinetic 2.0 in insert what kind of color will be these connections also i don't know if i can remove them but they are already getting out i need some screwdriver or something like that but they are already getting out wait a sec i need a screwdriver so i got a screwdriver Opa. one is out okay we got a screwdriver in and out and here is the connection part the connection part is also rubbery feeling it's not metal that's interesting i was thinking it was metal but it's also rubberized full rubberized so you can move them and connect them and this is the do down part uh, so we are dismounting everything so this is the one part second part the connection is here so you connect them disconnect them and then this connection part goes in here i was thinking it was some kind of metal inside but no it's not it's the We got this. They need to insert fully to be locked. Okay, they need to be fully inserted. Let's try to insert it. Yeah. And now a little bit harder to insert them when but when you insert them they are fully in and fully connected so this is the rubber part but it's really good rubber part and you can move it anywhere and that's why they are moving that much great great really good option i'm happy i remove it in front of you guys to see what's inside okay so let's try to let's try to turn the lights on okay so some of them are blinking already you see when you press a button let me try to lose the light a little bit okay so as you may see when we connect everything they are paired so this part you see it have a different buttons sitting so three buttons one is i think you can see it but let's turn orientation something like that to see fully let me switch another light now they are blinking and when you hold it longer they are off when you hold it again longer they are on and then they are not blinking the you see you synchronize them you put this when you turn this small part for a longer time they shut down but when you turn it again for a few seconds they are up and running and they are not fully synchronized every time but when you press this middle button they synchronize uh, everything is doing really good and with this two parts you're changing like color and lightness and 
some mods that are working interesting so let's switch them off with this button this one is also doing the same thing yeah yeah so you have to if you lose one you have another so you see the lights you see the connection the joints they can be in different colors and for the first impression and unboxing this looks really solid let's start the light sorry guys so to see better what we are doing here so two remotes one suite velcro and four beautiful power pads i really like them you see you hear something is moving inside they are squish, squishy but not that much squishy this will be interesting to ride i can wait to try them on my wheel and really push them so this is the first impression unboxing first impression short review my honest opinion and you stay on for the full review and long-term review of them but they they really look nice i can't wait to connect them with my Neil Noah foot plates that already have parts for connecting them with these power pads so i don't know if you can see it but in here you have some connection part so when you put your foot plates in they locked really good so yeah, that's interesting i don't know if the first version have something like that but that's really good so material is really squishy and good they are not hard are not hard and also not so squishy something in between and i think that the size of the foot plates and position is uh, totally different than the first generation of them because i think on first generation i will show the picture somewhere here that the first generation had a, a lot smaller this part for the jumping and for the toes and the leg that you're connecting with it was a lot smaller with the smaller joint and the smaller size in here so some people say that they are disconnecting really well when you push them hard but this is a now big part that you can stick on your wheel can't wait to try them to push your wheel really hard for some new wheels you cannot even ride them without good power pads and this is really good you can connect everything it can be straight line almost and then fully connected and because these joints are can be twist oh, i really like this you see you can make a little snail or something really really this is position you can ride them really look you can put them even like this if you want That's, yeah really interesting one also they are in my serbia flag that's the one i really like i think it will be great to my wheel so i don't know guys how to say but this looks promising, really, really promising, really interesting. Lights are on, it will be great for a night ride, so you can turn the lights. No, if it's right now, I don't see if they are right now on, but when you push this button for a longer time, they are here and they are synchronized in both ways. So when you are riding, the whole thing blinks, you see this way see you know there are a lot of lights here but so a lot of lights yeah great let's turn it off great power pads bro great i'm really satisfied and impressed of how you made them and you can customize everything as i say the color everything even this kinetic logo can be in different colors 
joint all the joint can be in different colors so you can make your rainbow style if you want velcro is really great i think they say they find a new velcro that is really good finally not disconnecting from the power pads same here for the wheel a lot of velcro you can use on your wheel when you do it try to cut this in half and every half try to put on your wheel don't cheap on this use all of this when you get good connection with your wheel and good stickness with this premium velcro really good one you have no problem to connect and use your wheel as, it, as it's supposed to and to the maximum can't wait to try them can't wait to test them and show you more pictures and videos and give you my honest review and opinion about them thank you guys for joining that's all for now it's unboxing and first impression and see you soon for the full review please like subscribe to see more content bye bye guys <laughs>